So I want to show you how to hide your threads using a cheater needle inside the layers of your quilt properly. Um, where you begin and where you end is very important to your quilt. Uh, judges look for beginnings and ends and so you want to make it as uh, smooth and unnoticeable as possible. So first off, when I start, I do not start by building up my thread and you know locking my stitches because that just makes a really big ball of thread right there. Um, I just start quilting just like normal, I just hang onto those thread tails until they're ankle anchored by the stitching. Then I run a cheater needle through the fabric. And a cheater needle, the special thing about it is there's a groove right here that allows you to very easily pop the threads in and get them threaded through that needle without actually having to thread them through the eye of the needle. So then back it up just a little bit so it has enough space and then pull it through. And then we just clip that off right there and there's absolutely no telling mark where the thread, the quilting began or ended. And so the other one is right here. So your ending spot, you're going to have to pull up your bobbin thread with your needle. If you want to tie a knot, but oftentimes I don't bother tying a knot, especially if I'm going to be quilting over that space again. Um, it's, it's really entirely up to you. And just pop those in and thread it through. And then just clip off, clip that off, and you've got a perfect way to hide your thread tails. So I just keep my Clover Cheater Needle right on top of this. It's a pen place. It's got a suction cup on it, and I just keep that right on the edge of my uh, quilting dust so that way it never gets lost. So that should be pretty easy. Give it a try in your own quilting space.